Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Witcher 2. That, that chicken was perfectly timed when I was starting this. Okay, so we are going to destroy those holes. We now have some grape shot, which is the only bomb, I guess, that works. I mean, you would think that the salmon would work, but that's we need the grape shot to work on the holes that the um, monsters leave behind. I also want to talk about real quick how problematic sounding the monsters names are. Like, I can't say it because I don't want the Google like algorithm thinking I'm saying something else. And I'm just like, I don't like it. But that's just me, I guess. I mean, like, there's nothing inherently problematic with it. I guess just saying it is a little difficult. Without messing things up. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Alright. So, Andrega are coming for us. Oh, there's cocoons. Oh, what? What? Did it disappear? What just happened? What is going on? Okay, you attack that way. Okay, that's that one down. I'm a little worried about... Okay. We're good for now. Okay. Is this not a cocoon? Oh, right. I have to open them. Does that spawn an enemy? Not yet, it hasn't. I am gonna make a real quick save. Oh, we don't have any Guess they'll never learn. potions or anything on, do we? Well, guess we're just gonna have to deal with the queen when she spawns. There she is. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. Ow, oh, okay. That was one hit. And we are very hurt. If I just run back to town. Okay then. Well, it's here now. I don't suppose it... It won't follow us back here. I do need to give us a potion of some sort. We have no toxicity, thankfully. Okay. Let's real quick. Oop, that was the wrong button. Meditation. And we want to drink potions. So I'm going to go ahead and give us a rook and a swallow. Okay, and I think that's all good. I don't want the sign one. Could give us the resistance to poison. Alright, that's all. I can only take those three. And we can really only do three at a time. Hello? Okay, that was weird. Alright. Got three potions active. Our toxicity is pretty high, so we can't take any more potions, but we should be fine without them, really. I don't suppose that there are any places of power here? No? Okay. That's fine. Alright. Try this one more time. Come on! Alright, just go at it. Don't even give it a chance. Oh, what the? Okay, the game... The game... Okay, okay. Well, the game minimized on me. Thanks. That's not helpful in the least. I'm about to die. Look at this thing, like, just sliding. Oh my god. Why did the game minimize randomly? Messed up my entire flow. Yes, load my last save. God, that's annoying. Okay, hold on. What? Okay, it spawned 
enemies randomly. Alright. Will you follow me to the town? Okay. I'm gonna skip ahead to getting the queen out and uh, getting my potions up because that takes a second. Okay. So we've got the queen spawned. Nope. Can you not, please? What is with the. Okay, game. This is horseshit. Am I just supposed to, like, run away from it the whole time? It's clearly able to keep up with me. I. It swivels to me exactly. At least it gets stuck, like, right there. Oh, no. Can't do anything there. Yes, that's right. Turn around. Okay. Okay, well, I seem to have gotten it stuck on a rock. This game is janky. This is just just as janky, if not jankier, than the first one. My god. Okay, move. Alright, what was that? What? Okay. Well, we've stunned it with our sign. There we go. Whew. Defeated this queen. Defeated the contract. Oh, okay. That's right. Are we good? Okay. So we got a bunch of mutagens. It's always good. And we got some greater mutagens. We only really want to use the greater mutagens. The lesser mutagens in the game are plentiful and really not worth it. Quilted leather. I don't suppose that's any good. Uh, armor, quilted leather. No, our raven armor is way better. We have some stuff that we can sell though, so that's nice. Like a dead merchant here. Alright, let's make a save, because we just beat them. But we've still got potions running, so might as well continue onward. Okay. Destroy the nest! Hello, move, please! Damn it. So that set a bomb. That bomb goes off. There we go. This nest is now destroyed. So let's go ahead and turn on this one. Nest destroyed. So they will no longer spawn from here. Oh. I can collect the trap of some sort. Now, apparently I could only do that with the bombs I have now. Hello. Drowners. Interesting. Don't I need a drowner or something for something? I think I do. We're quite a lot more powerful when we have potions running through us, as you can see. But they only last for about 10 minutes, so we gotta be careful about how long we spend here. We got a drowner brain. Is it lesser strength mutagen? Essence of water. Okay, so that way is to... Something else right now. Interesting. This area is showing as red on my minimap, but there's no actual enemy there. Is there a nest anywhere around here? There were quite a few nests when I was going through last time. I found like two or three of them. Oh, is there another trap here? Might as well collect that. I might sell all the snares to be perfectly honest because the queen trap is far better. 
at uh, doing what I needed to do. And it's essentially just a better version of the... Uh... You know what? Why don't we go sell stuff now? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's go sell things now. And I'm... I mean, I guess I'm just... Gonna let go of this one... Is it something I can loot here? I guess not. Well, thankfully, we're very close to town, so not a big deal. Oh, my goodness. It is a big deal if I have to take four hours to get to town, though. We'll sell all of our snares. We're going to sell the extra armor we have, the extra weapons that we picked up, because we don't need them, frankly. And, um... Anything else? I should be able to sell to that guy right up there. And then I don't remember who I have to talk to, but I'll talk to them after I complete the other assignment. Because I feel like we could just turn them both in at the same time. <laughs> up the ladder, up the ladder. So much for toxicity. I guess we'll just have to wait like a day for that to disappear. I think that's the only way to really do it. Hey, buddy. Let's trade. Okay, so first of all, you can have all my junk. You can have all the extra armor I have. You can have... Uh... I guess all of the Sword of the Mountains? Yeah. You can have... Frankly, I'm not going to use these. They only weigh a half, though, so they're not that bad. Where are my traps? You don't buy traps? Interesting. Um, ooh. Critical effects mutagen. Greater vitality mutagen. So we have two of those. Yeah, because the lesser vitality mutagens are plus two, but you have a limited amount of mutagen slots, so it's really not worth it to get rid of them. This one just has a bunch of stuff on it. That might be worth it. Trophies. Armor plus three. Oh, we could wear that. Give us some extra armor. We have a bunch of quest items. Books. Uh, we read these two. And these are quest items. Don't want to sell any of those. Can we really not sell the snares? Oh, huh. actually, real quick, we have a trophy on us. Might as well wear it, right? There we go, we actually have two of them. Gives us more armor, no reason not to. I don't have any traps? Enhancements? Is it a crafting item? The snares? So when I collect the snare, what is it actually giving me? Uh, I... I am very confused. Oh, we picked up a second cutlass, so I can actually sell this one. Not an enhancement. What am I picking up when I pick up the snare? Nothing? Who knows? Who cares? Let's sell this cutlass. Okay. Well, we still have three minutes of this. We could go out and search for another nest. No reason to waste potion time. Especially now that we have plenty of more space in our inventory. Look, people! Wonders and Okay, then. So, I think... Man, I wish we could, like, mark them on the map or something, because I'd found them earlier. Is there one over here? These pedestals usually show the way pretty well. What's over here? 
nothing, huh? I could jump down into the river and then go across if I wanted to. Not where I want to go right now. Are they spawning in and out? Everybody saw that, right? Oh, hello. Well, that's interesting. Circle of vigor here. There's another circle here. Two circles of vigor, I guess? Hi, Andrega. Damn, you're ugly. You wanna do your run thing? There you go. Man, this game's being buggy lately. So we've taken care of one nest. Maybe the other nests were further in? Hello? Combat music? Oh. Whoa! You're shooting at me? Oh, he is shooting at me. It's probably a, uh... Squaytel. Not really looking to fight with them right now. Just trying to find more of the nests. Sounds like something's after me right now. Any other nests? Aha! Oh, okay! Come on, move! Oh! Kaboom! Any second now. Oh! Dang traps. Okay. Two nests taken care of. Now there was another one along the same path, I believe. More Squiatel. Are you Squiatel? You are. Oh, okay. Yep, you are gonna. Listen. I don't want to fight you, but you're not really leaving me a lot of choice, are you? You fired at me. So we're enemies, I guess. Oh, what the? All right. Yeah, you got stuck, didn't you? Oh, come on. What the? Come on, run into it. There we go. Oh, this is the one I just destroyed. Don't really care about that one. Just trying to find another one now. One over here? Did you shoot at me through the wall? Through the trees? I believe he did. Might as well get all of these. Is this another circle of vigor? No, circle of endurance. And then there's like one of power here. Oh, I reset my vigor one. Hmm. God, I, we had found them last time, and if only we had the bombs, we could have just taken care of it. And the worst part is, I'm not even trying to fight the Squiatel, they're just there. Being annoying. Like, truthfully, I could care less about your whole thing. Ah, found another nest. Alright, putting it in. Running away. <laughs> Kaboom. Okay. So that's three nests. All we need is the last nest. I don't remember where it was. Or if we had even found it, we might not have. 
Look, the Squirtle are over there and they hang out. Hmm. This is where the Andregas were. This is where the nest was. Up there is Squirtle territory, but, it, well... Let's see if it's a bad idea to go up here. Might as well make a save. Is that a bad idea to head up here? Mm, so far, it's totally fine. What is all the way up here? Top of the falls, huh? Ruined elven baths. Okay. Alrighty then. Actually, I do know a scene that might happen here, I think, later. But I don't think anything happens here quite yet. Oh, there's a cave. I don't think I want to destroy this. I think I could if I wanted to. Well, real quick, I'll make a save. Did I do it? I don't know if I did it, but I don't think I want to do that. For a very specific reason. Well, if we want to see a different scene anyway. The Witcher symbol is responding up here. I don't know what it sees. Alright, Yerdin. The Yerdin sign is very nice. I wonder if there's a... what the upgrades for that sign are. Like, if I could make a damage them over time or something, or increase how long it keeps them stuck for, because... Or, like, if I could have an area of effect snare. Ooh, that would be great. Alright. But so far, nothing. Might as well take out the silver sword. Dang, traps. Another trap? Yeah, sorry. It's quite a tall ambush, huh? So, they killed a bunch of people here. They could pick their corpses clean, thankfully. It gives us nothing absurd. Can't go over there. That's the edge of the map, it seems. What's going on up here? I'm also running out of my... ...effects, it seems. My runes. This is... Some far wilderness out here. What are you, a bandit? Who are you? Oh, it's just a bandit. It's literally a bandit. Why? But why? Why even fight me? That seems like such a bad idea, sir. Wooden rung rope ladder. That's new. Super well balanced dagger. Looks like he hung some Scoyatel. 
Lots of drowners out here, it seems like. They're not that hard to deal with. They don't actually deal that much damage, either. So... Not the worst. Although, I can't remember if I need... Do I need to get something from Drowners? In the Claws of Madness. Um... Oh, right, the... the... Mansion. I want Militelli's heart. Tongue of a Troll, Eyes of an Arrakis, the Fetus of an Andrega, and the Essence of Death. Yeah, okay, I don't know what any of that means. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it because of the Troll's Tongue. But... Well... Maybe. I think I know how we do that. Hello? Oh, there you are. Drowned dead. So, stronger version of Drowners. Gotta level up from that one. I don't suppose the Drowned dead give us something useful. Uh-oh. Another one of the drowned dead. We don't want to deal with too many of these at the same time. Mm, there's another one coming. Alright. Why are their lunges quicker than mine? Good. Seems like the drowned dead actually give us less loot. Well, but they could give us mutagens. I see. In any case, I'm looking around this area and it seems like this is not the place to get what I need to get. So that was the bridge area. Oh, I need to look over there for the troll, I guess. This just seems like a big bog. Oh, well, wait. I reached a little... Hi. Oh, hello. What are you, a bandit? Bandit. Bandit with a pole arm. Come on, buddy. To all shit oh, come on. To all what? Did you say shit eaters? Wow, oh, you guys have a lot of HP, huh? Okay. Come on. There you go, buddy. We're having a hard time. Really bad time. What? But you, you, you have the Yearden sign on you. Sir, that's not how this works. Come on, come through it. Okay. Okay, we're all right. Can I pick up loot? You tell me that guy had no loot, the dude with the shield? Okay. 
May as well save. This is like a bandit house or something. Key required? You telling me none of these bandits out here had the key? Oh, good. Ran into the trap instead of picking it up. Okay, I guess we can't do anything there. What about around back? Anything here? There is not. Well, this was a colossal waste of time. Grand. Oh, hello. New ability, Summoner's Crown. Summer Solstice. What? What just happened? I don't even know where to... Oh, that's only in our meditation thing, I think. I can look at character, and then I think I can look at, like, attributes. Yeah, bonuses. I have no idea. Or it's one of these? Knowledge, abilities. Okay, Summer's Crown. Changes Queen Sign into the glowing and fiery Solar Queen, which adds a 10% chance of incinerating opponents who strike Geralt while he's protected by the sign. Cool. All right. Um, so now we can go into these extra paths. So we have the Alchemist Tree, the Magic Tree, and the Swordsmanship. I think Swordsmanship is the way to go. Ability to counter an opponent's blows. Distance covered while dodging in battle, plus 100%. Oh, uh, Geralt no longer takes 200% damage when stabbed in the bank. Oh my god. S -s -s so much stuff. Locks an ability to deal damage to many opponents. Additional opponents take 50% damage. That's really need needed. Amount of vigor needed to block incoming blows, minus 25%. Damage reduction plus 5%. Speed of vigor regeneration. Vitality plus 25%. Chance of critical effect, bleeding, critical effects, chance of instant kill plus two. Unlocks group finishers activated after the adrenaline blow charges, allows generation of adrenaline through sword blows. Whirlwind. Yeah. So basically all these first things are just necessary, I think. I think let's go for this first. Because it's useful. We get less damage dealt to us, but and then we can get the sword damage and whirl. All around good. Can't go in that house yet. That's fine. And this is the edge of the lake, essentially. Or oh, is this just timber? Yeah, it's just timber. Okay. I guess let's head this way. I don't necessarily want to fight an endless wave of drowners, either. Which may very well happen, depending on where I'm going. Can't go that far. I've reached the end of this area, pretty much. Oh! Squaytel can spawn here, that means. Oh, hello. You alive? Oh, you're dead. I see. You all rested at a campfire and, uh... It's quite tough, got you. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright. Let's see. I, I don't... I want to be able to finish this contract. We're only missing one nest. Although, I think I'm moving outside of the area where the nest is. I think, I think we need to double back. Because something tells me they would not put the nest outside of the area. So the nest, the nest is likely in this bog area. I've just passed it. And it probably won't be up higher north. Well, I guess I could check, but... We don't want to go too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, so this looks like it'll lead back to the previous area. It does indeed. Okay, cool. Well, I know there's a bandit hide out there, so that's good to know. And... I can continue down this. 
A little bit. Ruined bridge. Oh, okay. We need to... Not a load. I need to save. There is, in fact, a troll here. I don't know what's happening up there, but there is a troll down here. Hello, buddy. No. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No vodka. No passage. Whoa, hello. Alright, so he is quite angry. And he starts to attack us. Thankfully, the troll is not super hard to defeat because Enough. you don't have to beat him. Don't hit! I'd be good. There you go. What's with the drinking? You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. What? Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. Oh no. She good. She cooked meat. Oh. Don't know. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Got well. to drink. In can't go. People that kill. But got to drink. Okay, we'll find the murderer, you'll stop drinking. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You no find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. And there you go. You don't have to kill the troll. You can kill the troll, but you can make him non-violent. Just by doing a little fight. Uh, and the patrons decided we are going to follow the Witcher code. If they're hostile to us, we'll kill them. Otherwise, we will let them be. So he was hostile at first. We fought. And now he calmed down. We talked to him. We're going to help him out. Because we're going to be a helpful witcher. That's what we decided. Okay. So. We can find the troll's killers. Or the troll's wife's killer. And uh, solve that issue. Progress. Progress. Wanted to find him before we went and left uh, town. All right, so we're looking for one more nest. I gotta do this in this episode. We can't spend three goddamn episodes doing this. I refuse. Hello? Whoa. Circle of power. So that's for signs. Circle of vigor. I'll take it. What is this? Oh. Another statue here, of some sort. Another circle of power? Ah, and this leads to the bridge. Which, uh, he'll repair the bridge if you do the quest. Or you could kill him and, and tell the people to repair the bridge, either way. That's a whole separate thing. Okay, so we're all done here. It's saying that something's here. Maybe it's just the spot in general that it's pointing out to me. I think we've got map completion for this area. Hello? Um... I told you we'd meet again, white-haired one. Grab ah! It. It's these boys. They're not very good at, uh, fighting you. Yeah, the guy who we, uh, refused to give the information to. Oh, I'm poisoning them somehow. How did we poison? Do I have a mutagen or something active, or is it my weapon? Has a chance to poison, perhaps? No, oh, looks like Vincent's dead. Really, he himself didn't drop anything. All right, well, and then we defeat where we beat the quest. Sent to Vincent's. Okay then.
Well, that's done. <laughs> Minor inconvenience. Fixed. Um, there's a little way up here. This might be the Squayatel area that I was thinking about. Which we don't necessarily want to go to just yet, but... You know what? We just did a whole lot. Let me save. Oh, this is 100%. No, those are bandits. Why is the game doing that? What is the game doing? It's like saving or loading or something. What is going on up here? Hello. Hit the oh, knock me down, huh? What's with these bandits? There's so many of them. Not Squiatel. Ooh, there's a chest up here. 50 orns, I'll take it. Is this just a bandit area? I could have sworn there was other stuff up here for us to do. Apparently not. There's just a ruined bridge. Very pretty, though. Oh, the downed ship. That's what's up here. Okay, we do need to go to that for another quest. The only way to get the quest is to actually go to that ship. Okay, well that solves the question of the northern area in general, but I thought there was something up here. Maybe there's something up here later? Oh god, it's all fuzzy. I've only played through half of this game. At a certain point, it... It's going to be brand new to me. Because I never actually beat it. Which does mean when we eventually play Witcher 3, it'll be totally new to me. Because I've never played that game. Uh, anything off to the side path here? There's a climbable. Stump. And... We can jump down. Why not? Check out this area. Like a little shrine over here. Or perhaps even graves. And there's a little town, although that might be Lobbington, so this is just the This is just the graveyard above Lobbing Lobbington. It seems that is the case. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because that's Sendler Cedric, okay. Yeah. Alright. Well, we did some good bit of exploring. Cool. Didn't at all help me with finding what I need to find, because I'm just looking for one more... ...damned nest. Our toxicity went down, however. So we could, in fact... Uh... Oh, hello. We could, in fact, take more potions if we wanted to. We don't. Not yet. So maybe it was in this area where the Scoyotel were. Because I was sort of avoiding it. Because they were here. Mm, maybe not, because this is where the... Andrago were. Come on! Oh, hello. Some help, finally. I thought it was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Ah. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb baking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire, 
No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Oh, goodness. Oh, hello. Crazed. They're crazed variants. Oh, you drop a whole lot. They drop quite a bit. All right, what do I have on me? A bunch of junk. All right, how much do I have over? I'm over by six. Oh my goodness. I could drop some things. Honestly, I need to go sell some things. Okay, we will be back. We're going to help you out, but... Which direction is this? This is the very, very bottom. The Claws of Madness and the Claws of Madness. Okay, well, that's... In the Claws of Madness quest. Okay. I don't suppose this one... Oh. Well, if I maybe had this one selected... Yeah, this doesn't show me where the other is. Hmm. I'll be back to help. That's fine. We don't have to do it immediately. I'm still searching for that last pit. God, this is annoying. You. God damn kidding me. Who was that? That's Squaytel? I think it's Squaytel. We may have to drop something. Just so that we can run. And I'm just trying to find one last monster nest. Also, I could end this freaking quest. You would think it would be like in the middle of the bog or something. No. It's not. I've already cleared out so many of them. You know what? Maybe it's to the north. Maybe I should just stop guessing and just look it up. You know what? I'm going to do that. Okay. So I think I know where it is. We're just going to go to that location. It is on the other side of the river. If it's not there, then I at least have a map to look at. Because we are finishing this goddamn quest. It looks like... It should be just over here? Or have we already gotten this one? No, we've already taken care of this one. Okay. So then, looking at this map, there's like two right next to each other and one off to the left. Let's head north up here. We'll see if we find this, these two that are supposed to be right next to each other. And it should be like literally right here. Two right up here next to each other. One right here. And another. Just over here. Okay. Those are all taken care of. So then the last one. Is off slightly. Oh no. This is the one just above. That area. Is it not? It is. So there's a second one to the left of this tree area? Like right here ish?
Well, that's to the left of the tree. There should be one directly to the right of it. Wow. All that time, it was literally right there. Okay, let's go turn in some things. My lord. And it's nighttime, so we can go ahead and get ourselves something nice for... Like, participate in some fights and beat up some people. Why not? Let's just head into the town. Oh, help. Hello? <laughs> I'm assuming they're all running because it's raining, perhaps? Is he in here? This is different. Where did we walk into? Is this Luis Merce's house? It looks quite nice. You require huh? I'll we'll take Orin's. Yeah, we're carrying too much now. Who are you? Or is this Laredo's house or something? The art of magic, huh? Who are you? Okay. Why is everybody out to kill the troll? Okay. What do Who are I do? You? I'm the royal castellan. I look after Flotsam's provisions, fortifications, and so forth. So if I exterminate a monster, I need to see you about the reward? Indeed. You could start by filling in Form H-12 and taking it to... I don't need to. I've got immunity. Ah. Well, you'll find the notice board out in front of the inn. And good hunting to you. Okay, so I exterminated the necker. Necker remains as proof of. I know what they prove, Witcher. The reward is yours. Okay, so we get paid for that, and finishing out that contract, which is nice. No, 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 you're not going to sleep yet. I solved your worm problem. I believe you, but the commandant. Are remains proof enough? Quite. Here's your coin. Bam. And why is everyone out Any to kill the troll? Why Lurido put a price on the troll's head? Commandant Lurido has Flotsam's welfare in mind. Mm hmm. But the troll tends to the bridge, keeps it in repair. Not likely. To start with, that's a dangerous beast. In addition, he pays no taxes on the tolls he collects. That's all he cares about, isn't it? You're a terrible person. I completed that as well. Cool. Alright, so that's all we could do here. Let's go ahead and talk to a merchant, sell some things. Um, I forget who we have to talk to exactly about the troll. What was that? <sighs> okay then. There's a lot of people in this house. All right, merchants. Should be a merchant right here. Yes, you are. Let's trade. I'm gonna sell you all the things I have. And ranged weapons. I frankly, I hate the daggers. I can just sell all of them. No, I could think I could buy it back. I can buy back my weapon, right? Are you? Is there an auto save that I just did? Okay, there is. Okay. Let's uh fix that. <laughs> Any not We already heard all that. There we go. Just to get information. I do think we increased 
our level as well, so I'll need to level up. I might install a mod that gives us more talents, because while the game's not particularly difficult, it is kind of annoying that you can barely get into one of the talent trees. Like, th there's only 35 levels. 35 is the max level. We're already level 9. So we're a third of the way in our character progression. 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 Um, and it's something about that doesn't sit right to me because we've barely gotten into any of the character progression. So we will go ahead and I think I'm going to install a mod. I don't know. I might ask the... Uh, did I just do something that like multiplied the things I had? I might have by accident. I, I might ask our... Uh, Ooh, interesting. I might ask our... My my brain is just not working whatsoever. I may ask our patrons whether or not I should install some uh, mods. We're going to go ahead and sell all these lesser mutagens. Keep the greater, keep the critical effects. Because we may end up using those. In fact, I, I think I could use one of them now, but... Yeah. All right. Um, let's check our quests. What do we have left to do? We have, uh, Melatelli's Heart, Bike Club, Troll Trouble in the Claws of Madness. Okay. And let's go ahead and do Fight Club in front of the inn at the evenings. So there's the inn, meaning I've got to meditate for a little while. So meditate until dusk. One here. Not bad. One board smart. Well, say. Meet Ziggy by the inn in the evening. Uh, still nothing. I'm about a little bit later into the night. There he is. He spawned. Boys pull punching tricks. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal. Yeah. I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. Spit it out. Know what Flotsam's famous for? Nothing. You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful halls in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fighting scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I, I promote fighters, place them in tournaments. Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you, but who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farmhand you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. <laughs> this one will be different. You'll see. Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Um, okay. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Not a problem for us. All right. We will continue on the Fight Club quest next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.